Good day and welcome. Today, we will learn about structural failure. This is exciting because it helps us understand how things work and why they sometimes don't. Fracturing, bending, and toppling over result in structural failure. By exploring the reasons behind structural failures, we can discover ways to design stronger and safer buildings and bridges, making the world around us more secure. Before we talk about structural failure, let's revisit the purpose of a structure. Structural members are the parts of a structure that support a load and transfer it to the foundation. They can have different shapes, sizes, and materials depending on the type and function of the structure. A structure comprises several components, which are called members or parts, that create a framework. Structures do one of four things. 1. A structure can contain, enclose or hold, something. 2. A structure can protect, shield, shelter or cover over. 3. A structure can support, hold up or strengthen, a load. F a structure can span a distance, an example is an arch spanning the distance between its pillars. Sometimes, if engineers do not consider all the forces and how a structure will bend or lean, there can be failures. This happens when the materials are too weak, the design isn't strong enough, or the structure is simply unstable. Understanding structural members and failure modes allows engineers to design safe and long-lasting buildings and bridges that can withstand various challenges, keeping us safe and comfortable under their roofs or bridges. Structures have to be safe. Safe structures have the following properties. 1. Strength, which is the ability of a material to resist breaking under tension or compression. 2. Stiffness, which is the ability of a material to resist bending under load. 3. Stability, which is the ability of a structure to maintain its balance under load. Structural failure is the collapse or damage of a structure due to excessive load, poor design or environmental factors. When structures are not constructed properly, they tend to fail. The forces which are exerted on the structure directly cause the failure. Structures can fail for various reasons, and here are the three most common causes. 1. Fracturing. 2. Bending and. 3. Toppling over. Fracture of a member occurs when a member breaks or cracks because of too much pressure placed on it. Fractures are a sign that the structure lacks the strength to support a load placed on it. Strength is the ability of a material to resist breaking under tension or compression. When the strength of a member is exceeded, it causes it to break. This could be due to 1. Overloading resulting in the load-bearing capacity of a member being exceeded. 2. Using the wrong material can cause fracture. If the material was not correct or strong enough it will result in the member experiencing more force than expected resulting in fracture. 3. Design flaws can also cause fracture. Fracture of a member can cause the structure to lose its integrity and collapse. A pencil is made of stiff material, however, if too much pressure is applied to the two ends of the pencil it can break or fracture. If a structure cannot withstand forces such as wind or heavy loads, it can collapse. Bending is when the shape of a structure starts to curve because a force is being applied from above. This occurs when a member bends or deforms due to lack of stiffness or that the member is not rigid enough. Stiffness is the ability of a material to resist bending under load. A structure bends when more force is applied than the member can sustain. This can happen if the member is too thin and long, made from a weak material or there could be design flaws. Bending results in what we call flexing or buckling. Let's imagine you have a ruler. If you push the two ends of a ruler towards each other it will bend. This bending is like flexing. 
This is when something curves because of a force, but it can go back to its original shape when you stop pushing. Flexing is when an object, like the ruler, bends or deforms under a force, but doesn't collapse or change its shape permanently. If we push down the ruler hard and it suddenly gives way and collapses to the side, that is more like buckling. Buckling happens when a long, slender object cannot handle a strong force pushing against it and it ends up bending or curving out of shape. In engineering, buckling occurs when a structural component, like a column, is unable to sustain an axial load, a load acting along its length. Here's what happens during buckling. You gradually increase the load on the column. At a critical point, the column suddenly changes shape and its stability is lost. It may buckle sideways or collapse. Buckling is a serious issue because it can lead to the complete failure of a structure. Toppling over occurs when a structure falls over due to lack of stability. Stability is the ability of a structure to maintain its balance under load. The main cause of toppling is a structure that is top-heavy with a narrow base. Top-heavy is when the top section of a structure carries more weight than the bottom section, making it unstable. Narrow base is when the base of a structure is much narrower than the top making the structure unstable. A structure is stable if it does not topple over when a force acts on it. Factors that affect the stability of a structure include the center of gravity, the base area, the weight distribution, and the external forces. Toppling over of a structure can cause the structure to lose its position and orientation. If center of gravity of the structure falls outside its base, it will tip over. High center of gravity or inadequate base support will result in toppling over. Understanding these structural members and failure modes is crucial for designing safe and resilient buildings and bridges. Engineers employ various principles to ensure structures can withstand loads and environmental conditions effectively. Some buildings have been reported on the news after they had collapsed and injured people. Try to find one news article on a building or balcony that collapsed. Read the news article and look for clues that can explain why the building collapsed. That concludes our lesson for today. Until next time, keep well.